All right, my darlings, we are going to be doing an ink chromatography lab. So I'm going to show you what we will need for this experiment. We will need some scissors, a serological pipette, large binder clip, and your L-shaped ruler, dun, 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 a pencil. Ooh, you will need filter paper, Looks like a big circle. Dun, da, da, da. And you will need a bunch of different markers, okay? So let's take a look at pens. So we're gonna have the Shuttle Art permanent marker, the Bic round stick pen, the Bic marking marker, the Paper Mate Flare, the Bic red pen, the paper made flare red pen. And last but not least, the Sharpie red permanent marker. You will also need one of the beakers provided in class, along with some 70% isopropyl alcohol, which will also be in class and you will have to share. So you'll need about 150 milliliters when you get to this. So let's start prepping this right now. So we are going to start out by getting our filter paper ready for our chromatography apparatus. Chromatography is going to separate the inks in your markers and pens by polarity. And we are going to set up our own apparatus for doing so. And hopefully you will be able to actually identify your own unknown ink today after we do this. But we first need to get our paper ready. So in order for it to fit in our beaker, we need to cut it to the right size. And it just so happens that your L-shaped ruler is perfect for this job. We are going to make an eight centimeter by eight centimeter square. Why is this L-shaped ruler amazing? Well, because from here to here is actually eight centimeters. And from here to here is eight centimeters. So if you trace the L on one side and then move it around and trace, 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 you will get dun, 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 an eight centimeter by eight centimeter square. Once you get your eight centimeter by eight centimeter square, you're gonna use your scissors, you're gonna cut it out. And as you can see, I have already done that. And look, it should fit perfectly. Eight centimeters by eight centimeters, hooray. Okay, now what? Well, I'm gonna need a place to put my, my inks. So I need to set that up. I'm gonna take my L-shaped ruler and I'm gonna take my little square and I need to mark one centimeter up. Okay, so what I have right here, here's one centimeter, and I need to draw a line. And you'll see I'm using pencil. You need to use pencil because pencil is not going to migrate through our chromatography apparatus. It is just gonna stay in place while our inks and dyes are going to separate. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this at one centimeter and draw a line, okay? So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna mark up our paper and we're gonna mark eight different spots. Eight spots because we have seven different markers and pens and we're gonna leave one left over for a surprise unknown that we don't know, we'll match it up. So let's do that. As you can see, I have eight little marking parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that I have done in pencil. In addition, I have set up all my markers and pens in the order in which I want them for this lab. And you can look at the table in your lab and figure out it's gonna be the same as this. You can look at the table in your lab, make sure. And there are little abbreviations because it's hard to write the entire name. So I'm gonna show you how you do that. So underneath each little mark, I am going to write the abbreviation for the marker I am going to use. So here we're gonna do shuttle art. So that will be S-A and followed by paper made flare black. So that's P-M-F-B for that one and Bic round stick black, so that's Bic black, and Bic marking is B, M, and then moving on, we have Bic red pen, which is B, R, and then we have paper made flare red, P, M, F, R, and then we have the Sharpie red, which is S, R, and then the last one, I'm gonna put a U there for unknown. So I, in class, if I were doing this, I would go to another group for this one. 
So right now I'm gonna mark up all the ones on my sheet. So essay, shuttle art, I'm gonna, right there where those two, I'm just gonna do a little dot. You don't need any more than that, that's it. Just a little dot, you're good. All right, that one's done. Papermate flare black, same thing. Make a little dot, good to go. With the ball points, like this round stick one, you're going to want to take a little bit longer because it's not a marker. Color in a dot about that size. The big marking, there we go, just make a little dot. Now notice, I'm actually using the markers and pens now. Everything else was pencil. You wanna make sure that you only put the marking and marker is where you need it. So here's our big red for our pen. And here's our paper made flare red. And here's our Sharpie red. Okay, so before I put this in a chromatography apparatus, I would need to get an unknown. How do I do that? I go to another group and I have them secretly with me not looking pick one of the ones that we've put here already. Okay, they're gonna know what it is. They're gonna write it down. I'm not gonna know, okay, because it's a secret. It's an unknown to me. And they are gonna take your paper and they are going to secretly mark some ink right here. And they are gonna know what it is so that when you run this chromatography, you are gonna look at your chromatogram when you're done and hopefully be able to figure out which of these your unknown ones. Okay, so you'll go to them for that, and then I will show you how to set up your chromatography apparatus. Okay, so here's what I need for my chromatography. As you can see, I have this large binder clip, and what I've done is I've clipped, want to make sure it's a good one that's nice and tight so it doesn't fall out. You want to clip your chromatography paper all marked up, and you can see somebody did the unknown. I don't know what it is. <gasps> Mystery! You want to clip it like that, and then you're going to use your pipette here. Okay, and you're gonna take your pipette and you're gonna put it through. Ooh, and then, oh my goodness, you can do this right here. Now, you do not want your chromatography paper to touch the bottom. It should be hanging above the bottom. And that's when you're gonna put in your eluent, okay? And this is isopropyl alcohol. This is our mobile phase for this lab. Uh, it's 70% isopropyl alcohol. You're gonna need roughly 150 mils. When you're done, you can pour it into the beaker uh, up front. So what you'll do, you do not want to put your alcohol higher than your little line with your marker and ink spots. You wanna do it below the line so that it doesn't dissolve in here and that it just goes right up the paper. Okay, so I'm gonna pour this in and do, 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 do. Oh my goodness, I have it set up. And as it touches the paper, you'll see when it touches the paper and you just watch, okay? And you want it below that line and the ink so that the capillary action will actually, okay, cause that alcohol to move up the paper and start to actually separate the inks from the markers and the pens. So this you're, you'll just this is the sit and wait. You can see it's already starting. Um, when this goes about halfway, it's done. I'm gonna sneakily turn this around right now so that I'll show you. So you don't wanna put it like this because that little lip is gonna be uneven, okay? So that's another tip and then when you're done, make sure that when this is going, when you take your picture of it, you'll take a picture, doo, 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 um, make sure the numbers of your beaker aren't there to interfere with your picture. So when it's about halfway up, it's done and you'll take a picture and see if you can figure out your unknown and compare it with the knowns. Good luck, you got this.